takes the fibers and fibers. A quick video here talking about how Narcissus neglects self care and hygiene. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Narcissus neglects self care and hygiene. Self care is any deliberate activity we do to take care of our mental, emotional and physical health. We live in a world where many people neglect their mental, emotional and physical health and instead focus on their image or what the world sees on the outside. This is why dysfunctional relationships are so common. People with unhealed childhood traumas personality disorders, stress, anxiety, depression. The only people who appear to be practicing self-care efficiently are abuse survivors, people who are spiritual, or those who are required to practice self-care for their career. It really shows how important image and looking good on the outside is these days. When people literally neglect their mental, emotional and physical health. They will spend thousands on cars or designer clothes and it's nothing for them to do that. But they would never spend that same amount of money on their health unless it's an emergency. Just think about how crazy that is. In my personal experience, I have found that narcissists do not practice self-care efficiently. The narcissist in my life did not eat a nutritious or healthy diet. They had eating disorders and developed thyroid or bowel issues from a young age. They rarely exercised. To them, rather than seeing the gym as a place where you can improve your health, they saw it as a place where they can go to present their image or to get attention. Usually going to the gym is one of the main forms of self-care that a narcissist will practice. They have to be in shape. They have to display an attractive image. But some narcissists have such a strong sense of arrogance and entitlement that they believe they don't even have to be in good shape. Narcissists don't always follow up with medical care. They will put off checkups or visits to the doctor, opticians or dentists. They have this magical thinking in their minds that as long as they think everything will work out okay, they don't need to take any action to, to take care of their bodies. Narcissists most often will not practice mindfulness or meditation. They have overactive minds. They are never at peace. They don't practice meditation because it involves self-reflection and look with it, looking within is too painful for them. Narcissists can appear to be very attractive when you first meet them. But if you look closely, you will see signs that they do not practice self-care efficiently. In my experience, I have found that narcissists will dress well do their hair and wear makeup. They are very good at creating the image they want to display to the world, but this is all they really focus on. They neglect self-care and basic hygiene. They have poor hygiene habits. There are red flags you should be aware of when you are dealing with an artist red flags of poor hygiene. 
In my experience, I have found that they would have stained teeth or bad breath. Offensive body odours disguised with perfume. Dandruff. Hairy nostrils. Dirty fingernails. They would spend long amounts of time in the shower, which can strip away the skin's natural barrier. They would have very hot showers, which can lead to infections. These are all basic practices of self-care and hygiene, which narcissists will neglect. On the surface, they look clean, they dress well and smell good. But if you get a bit closer, or look closely at their hair or fingernails, you will find that it isn't real self-care. They focus more on their external image rather than actually taking care of themselves. It's all about what you see on the outside. It isn't real self-care, just like it isn't real self-love. They are just very good at creating a certain image that you might want to see. They've had years of practice at lowering in targets and manipulating them. They don't spend much time practicing self-care or basic hygiene. They don't even wash their hands after they've been to the bathroom. They don't think about this stuff because they just magically think that it won't affect them or it will just magically go away. You may find yourself feeling unwell when you are around them, especially if you have sexual contact with them. Every narcissist I've had a relationship with had poor sexual hygiene. I don't really want to go into detail about that here, but just be careful if you are having sexual contact with a narcissist. You might get sick or have an infection and try to keep the lights on so you can really assess their level of hygiene. They don't practice self-care or basic hygiene, so they are prone to disease. If you are in a relationship with a narcissist, please be very careful and take all of this into consideration when you are around them. I haven't seen any videos on this topic before, but it was a recurring theme in my relationships with narcissists, so I thought I should discuss this. Please share your thoughts in the comments about your personal experiences. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.